When a flagship is launched, you can expect a lot. Is this expectation justified with a scriptum from Erna? Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. The Herner company has recently launched a new pen. In fact, this can be considered their current flagship. After all, that's what they call it themselves. Its name, by the way, was decided in a vote. It is the Herner Scriptum. And I was kindly provided with this one for a test by the Herner company. As usual from Herner, the found pen comes well packaged. In a cardboard sleeve is a box with a hinged lid. Inside is a pen. We have here a found pen made of wood with silver decorative elements and clip. Namely, this is rosewood. This is very cleanly finished and has a very pleasant feel. The cap has an even diameter. The barrel gets a little narrower towards the end. The ends have a flat finish. The clip is kept simple but works well. Under the screwed on cap, we have the grip zone made of silver metal and the gold colored large nib. By the way, as with all of Herner's fountain pens, this is a cartridge fountain pen. This one comes directly with a standard international converter. Let's take a look at a few details of this fountain pen. The silver decorative ring at the end of the cap is engraved with the lettering Herner. The large gold colored nib is cleanly finished. The decoration is clean and finely crafted. This nib is, as Herner themselves also states on the website, a Yovo No. 6 nib. For those to whom this means nothing, Yovo is one of the two major manufacturers from Germany. And the number 6 is a slightly larger nib. Available nib sizes are fine, medium and broad. Here we see a comparison between a common Hörner nib and the nib of this Hörner scriptum. We also take a look inside the cap. In the end, we have here a fountain pen whose body is made of wood. But as you can see, the interior is well lacquered or otherwise coated. So any ink drops in the cap should not cause any damage. But then I did not test it. Size-wise, the fountain pen is also very good for large hands. For small hands, it could even be quite large. The weight distribution is very pleasant. The fountain pen lies well in the hand. Even with the cap on, this is still the case. The fountain pen writes very pleasantly. We have here a nib that glides well over the paper with a little feedback. This nib is relatively stiff. This nib is relatively stiff. To achieve line variance with it, you do need a little pressure. For my taste, a little too much pressure to be comfortable. By the way, I filled this pen with KWZ Old Gold Ink. For my taste, the nib needs a little too much pressure to be comfortable with it to achieve line variance. It is possible, but not optimal for me. It may be different for others, but if we are honest, line variance is not necessary. Rather rigid fountain pens suit many people who may also have the difficulties with line variants. How is it with you actually? Do you prefer more rigid or more flexible nibs for normal writing? In a size comparison, I have here the scriptum together with the Visconti Homo sapiens, a Diplomat Arero, a Hanemühle Bold, a Pelican M800 Blue Blue, and a Lamy Safari. As you can see, the fountain pen does well here in terms of both length and girth. In a second comparison, here it is with a Pilot Justice 95, a Waldmann Commander, a Naval Schoolkill, an Otto Hood Design 04, and a Lamy Studio. Here too, the scriptum fits in well in terms of size. But this is not just any fountain pen. Herner has declared it the flagship. Of course, looks and feel are always a matter of taste. But does the classification as a flagship fit? 
From a technical point of view, the fountain pen doesn't show any weaknesses. The workmanship is good, and I don't notice any flaws. The rosewood looks good, and it feels excellent. A silky surface that is very pleasant to the touch. And if I'm seeing this correctly, the exterior of the pen is also protected with a layer of lacquer. The exterior looks good, with a silver clip and decorative ring in front of the wood. And since it is real wood, each pen always has a slightly different grain. A unique piece, so to speak. Visually and haptically, the pen is flawless. Hörner has also used a larger nib than usual for this pen. This works well in this rather large fountain pen. Even a gold colored nib with a fine decoration. Which, after all, comes in three nib width, fine, medium and broad. That's good. And the nib writes well. Yes, it's a good fountain pen. And if you look at Hörner's product line, it's one of the finest pens, in my opinion. So the label flagship is fitting. If I am to criticize points about this pen, I can only list one point, which is absolutely a matter of taste. But I find the gold colored nib and the silver grip irritating. Not bad, but not necessarily optimal. But that is not really dependent on taste. Otherwise you get a really good fountain pen with the scriptum. Many thanks for watching and many thanks to the Hörner company for the test sample. I hope you enjoyed this little review. See you next time.